true ruler of the forest is enormous in stature, extraordinarily strong, and armed with a variety of lethal weapons that enable it to approach even the most dangerous of prey. Even the frigid water won't deter him from his goal. He is fearless of wolf packs, and no barrier can stop him from reaching his objective. Meet this absolute epic unit of a beast, the grizzly bear. Ursus arctos horribilis, generally known as the North American brown bear or simply grizzly, is a population or subspecies of the brown bear native to North America, distinguished by the silvery tip and shiny appearance of their fur. In addition to the mainland grizzly, other brown bear morphologies in North America are occasionally referred to as grizzlies. Contrary to popular belief, grizzly bears don't go into true hibernation. The state that they enter is called torpor, a mild form of hibernation. Males frequently stand over 7 feet tall and can weigh more than 790 pounds, so there's no question about their vicious appetite and their violent attitude. Like all brown bears, grizzlies have learned to eat nearly anything, and they have developed one of the most sensitive noses on the globe, one that is a hundred times more sensitive than a person's. Thus, even hidden delights can be easily retrieved because of this animal's strong four-inch claws. Strong teeth that can easily pulverize difficult food and the combination of excellent intelligence and incredible power help to avoid becoming hungry even during the worst of circumstances. Although bears are omnivores, their status as predators is not in vain because such an absolute unit's desire is rarely satisfied by the gifts of nature. No berry is going to satisfy this behemoth. When their hooved neighbors have young, grizzlies are well aware of it and seize the opportunity to set up a chase. This brown bear can run at rates of over 31 miles per hour, despite its awkwardness and its overweight physique. Frequently, its prey is even more agile, but the tenacious animal doesn't slow down for very long, hoping that a panicking young animal will make a mistake. In addition to moving quickly in a straight path, the grizzly can also go through obstacles with ease. For example, this hungry predator can move quickly through turns and over barriers, while its prey cannot handle such resistance. The target can be quickly subdued and knocked down with all of its weight in a split second of confusion. Of course, having a keen sense of smell allows one to locate carry-on with accuracy. Even among animals, such a carcass is not particularly enticing to anybody, but to a grizzly, it is a delicious treat that is immediately brought to land. Although the bear is not the only one who enjoys carrion, the scent frequently directs him to prey that's previously been taken. Of course, the beast doesn't like this, but neither are the wolves willing to give up their meal. Due to their numerical advantage, they're the major competitors for the bear's food. But a furious temper and an enormous perseverance can drive the entire pack away. Moreover, a single grizzly bear has the power to send a reindeer herd running. A mother bear needs a lot more to feed her children, and sometimes she resorts to pretty desperate measures. One of them involves an attack on an adult caribou male. The deer is armed with enormous horns that might cause deadly wounds, but it's too late to flee, so the she-bear shields the primary weapon on her own body. The sow is lifted off the ground by the powerful male in an attempt to shake it off, but the grizzly's deadly grip wears down quickly on the deer. The she-bear attempts to knock the opponent over by digging into its neck with all of her mass. Finally. The conflict progressively ends with their strong jaws clamped around the caribou's neck. When brown bears are born, they weigh about one pound, or 450 grams, which is surprisingly low considering that they weigh at least 400 times that in adulthood. Grizzly bear cubs are very vulnerable, born without fur or sense of sight. About half of grizzly cubs don't live to reach adulthood because of diseases and grizzly predators, like mountain lions, wolves, and adult male grizzlies known as infanticide showing an instinctual and callous side of grizzlies that many don't want to see. Film and TV depict grizzlies as being hostile towards humans. Nevertheless, humans pose the greatest threat to the bears. These bears are solitary, and they avoid humans, but they will attack if they're threatened. If animals or humans attempt to harm grizzlies or their cubs, the bears can become aggressive, and they will attack rather swiftly. In March 2022, a hiker in Montana was killed by grizzlies. 
Since 2028 people have been killed by grizzlies in the Yellowstone region. Conservationists believe that attacks have increased because more people have moved into rural areas near bear habitats. A famous case is a story of Timothy Grizzly Man Treadwell, a bear enthusiast and a documentary maker, who flew up to Alaska every year to camp with the animals until tragedy struck. Despite warnings from friends and family, the star flew there every summer for 13 years and camped with them, claiming to be a bear, and that they were misunderstood creatures. I will die for these animals. I will die for these animals. I will die for these animals. On October 2003, Timothy was mauled to death by his beloved animal in front of his girlfriend, Amy Hunart. The bear then turned on Amy, who was also tragically killed in the accident. The ranger found fingers, an arm, other remnants, and three-foot-high grass muck in a twig heap. They also found Timothy's head attached to a piece of the spine. When the couple's air taxi pilot landed in Katmai National Park, he realized what had happened, as instead of the pair walking on the shore to be picked up, he found an eerie silence and the meanest looking bear standing over a pile of human remains. The attack's six minutes of unsettling audio were Timothy's last recorded moments. Timothy and Amy forgot to remove the lens during the attack while documenting their bear interactions. Truly, you must never listen to this. This male deer has lost some of its agility after being injured in a ritual duel, which this grizzly abuses without hesitation. He attacks the prey's back in an attempt to paralyze it, and then he uses his own weight to drown the victim in the frigid water, fully aware of the victim's vulnerabilities. Therefore, the only remaining task for this formidable predator is to deliver this substantial trophy to the shore, which he does without difficulty. Even bison is on the ravenous beast's menu. Even if adult bison weighs twice as much as a bear, the hunter can still take down the younger animals. All that's required is that he separates the mother from the youngster. Extremely cunning bears are prepared to exploit any circumstance, and salmon spawning transforms a fearsome hunter into an expert angler. All ages of bears dive for the prized catch with impressive dexterity, and even the most cunning ones don't trouble themselves because fish jump into their mouths as it tries to get beyond the barrier. Bears must compete for fishing spots because they've been waiting for such a feast for almost a year. The prey may also travel from one mouth to another multiple times. Recent reports indicate that the oldest bear is estimated to be 34 years old. However, bears typically live between 15 to 25 years in the wild, unless they meet an untimely demise at the hands of a human or climate change or another animal. About 55,000 to 60,000 grizzly bears are living in the wild today. The IUCN Red List categorizes the brown bear, which includes the grizzly, as least concern. Overall, the species population is stable, however, the grizzly is considered threatened in the United States and endangered in parts of Canada. Threats include habitat loss from human encroachment, human-bear conflict pollution, and climate change. While the bear is protected in North America, reintroducing it into its previous range is a slow process partly because the grizzly has such a slow life cycle, since they mate after three long years, giving birth to two cubs at once. Because grizzlies require such a vast living area, it, it can be difficult to maintain a stable living situation. Thankfully, there are numerous brown bear conservation sites and habitats worldwide. These conservation ecosystems allow bears to freely roam their natural habitat, undisturbed and with minimal danger. Many areas still feel safe to them due to their enormous size, their highly honed reflexes, and high intelligence, which made them the true kings of these places. <laughs>